understand what a man does. Hey, maybe we must talk about this during a, a family ministries thing. But it's fine, let's mention it. There's a reason why Eve is a rib. A rib. Because if I take a stick and I try to hit your ribs, you lower your arm. Adam is the strength for the protection of Eve. Adam never exposes Eve. He takes the blows for Eve. A man must die in defense of his wife and daughter, not offer them for him to get out. These are cowards. They offer women instead of facing the battle. And that is why today we have abusive societies, because our young men were not taught what it means to be a man. A man was given strength to protect a woman, not to beat a woman. But in a postmodernic society where everyone does what is right in his own sight, a woman becomes a punching bag. A woman becomes something you rape. A man who rapes is a coward. He lacks the inner strength to plead the logical case to a woman. So you force yourself because you lack the wisdom to approach a woman face up and say, I would like to be a part of your life and have her interrogate you and you answer. Because you are that weak and pathetic, you use women sexually because it's the only place where you have strength. Outside of your pants, you are nothing. So the only way you can try and dominate is through your pants. But God is looking for men who dominate through the mind and through the spirit. We don't rape. We make a proposal. We defend the proposal. When the proposal has been accepted, you work every day to deliver. A godly man is not a politician. You don't make a proposal and not fulfill it. You make your proposal. When it is accepted, you work every day to deliver. But men of situational ethics only want one night stands. See, when a man wants to have sex and walk away, you must know you're dealing with a coward. He doesn't know how to stay and build. Hence, he wants a hit and run. That's a coward. A man stays and starts and finishes something. Doesn't come once and then he passes by. True men stay for decades. From the day you said, I do, you stay. Even when she can't even boil rice, you stay. When she throws the boiling rice at you, you stay. Are you with me? True men. True men. And this is something we need to teach to our young men. True men. When a man is true and comes from God, in the evening your wife upsets you. In the morning you take her car, go to the garage, put in a full tank, bring it back to the garage, take it to the car wash, bring it back. Even though you are angry, you give her the key and say your car is clean. That's a man! That is a man! But when you are angry, when you are angry and you live with your cards and you live with your everything and you don't buy groceries because you are angry, a coward. That's not a man. A man fulfills his oath before God even when his wife disrespects him because our oath is to God who made us high priests. It is bigger than how the wife responds. We made an oath to God, not to the women. No.